Today we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips, and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Chicago White Sox vs Baltimore Orioles Baltimore Orioles, 63-58, will host the Chicago White Sox, 62-60 on Tuesday in the first contest of a three-game series. The Orioles were off on Monday after beating the Red Sox 5-3 on Sunday night. The White Sox are coming off a 6-4 loss on Monday against the Royals after being rained out in Cleveland on Sunday. Our team pick is Baltimore Orioles plus 1.5 runs. And here is why. The Chicago White Sox dropped to three games behind the first place Guardians and 1.5 games behind the second place Twins with a 6-4 loss to the Royals on Monday. Kansas City scored four runs in the first inning to jump out ahead. The White Sox tied the game after scoring three runs in the fourth innings and one run in the seventh, but the Royals had the last lap with two runs in the bottom of the eighth inning. Chicago has now lost four of its previous five games. The White Sox are four games out of a spot in the wild card race, but they are ninth in the American League overall. At first glance, it looks like the White Sox has a substantial advantage with Dylan Cease on the mound, but that's where it stops. Although Cease has been incredible this season, Austin Both has sneakily been pretty good himself, with a 3-0 record and 2.27 ERA in his last seven outings. Baltimore has been the best money line home team this season and has the best overall run line record in baseball. The Orioles also rank ahead of the White Sox in OPS, runs scored, home runs, fielding percentage, and bullpen ERA. Baltimore has won Voth's last five home starts. I will take the Orioles to keep this game close and cover the run line as a home dog. Our total pick is under the total. New York Mets vs New York Yankees The New York Mets and the New York Yankees will square off on Tuesday evening at Yankee Stadium. The Mets are sending right-hander Taiwan Walker to the mound and is coming off a no decision against the Atlanta Braves where he went two shutout innings as he gave up a hit, two walks, and zero strikeouts. The Yankees will have righty Frankie Montes pitching and is coming off a losing effort against the Toronto Blue Jays, as he threw six innings and allowed six runs on eight hits with a walk and two strikeouts. Our team pick is Mets for the win. And here is why. It's been an ugly month for the Yankees, but they did come up with a huge win over the Toronto Blue Jays on Sunday to extend their advantage in the AL East. DJ LeMahieu got the Yankees off to a strong start with an RBI single in the first before adding another run scoring single in the third, and Andrew Benintendi's two-run homer in the seventh was the difference maker. In one of the most memorable games of a fantastic season so far, the Mets triumphed in a slugfest against the Phillies to earn a series win. After falling behind 4-0 in the first, the Mets fought back thanks to Mark Kanya, who launched a game-tying three-run homer in the seventh and go-ahead two-run shot in the ninth. Jose Budo went four innings in his MLB debut, allowing seven runs on nine hits and two walks while striking out five. Trevor May picked up the win in relief, while Edwin Diaz locked down his 28th save despite allowing a rare run. Starling Marte was on base four times, including a double with an RBI, a run scored and a steal. Even though they finally picked up a win on Sunday, the Yankees have still scuffled badly in August, as the lineup is suddenly looking punchless while the bullpen is piling up the injuries. This well-rounded Mets team is good enough to take advantage, especially with Montes struggling since the trade deadline. Montes has major home-slash-road splits as he hasn't been good outside the pitcher-friendly confines of Oakland, and that is showing up in his early Yankees career as he's allowed 14 runs in his first 14 innings with the team. 
the Mets are one of baseball's toughest offenses to deal with, ranking fifth with a 113 WRC plus while running up opposing pitch counts better than any other lineup. The Yankees have just a 98 WRC plus as a team over the past 30 days as the injuries to Stanton and Carpenter have really hurt. Fading the Yankees has been a good play lately, and the Mets continue to look like a World Series contender. Cincinnati Reds vs Philadelphia Phillies The Cincinnati Reds are coming into this one after a tough series with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Luckily, the Reds won the final two games of the series, as they were able to get the job done on the road. They will need their bats to stay hot if they want to contend with the Phillies in this one. Cincinnati scored 19 combined runs in the final two games of their last series. The Philadelphia Phillies are entering this one after a long four-game series with the New York Mets. The Phillies only won one game, as the Mets took three out of four games. Philadelphia's pitching and fielding have to be better, as they surrendered 25 combined runs in their three losses. Our team pick is Philadelphia Phillies minus 1.5 runs. And here is why. The Cincinnati Reds are currently 17.0 games out of the final NL wildcard spot, as they will need to start stacking some wins if they want to make a push for the postseason. They are also 4-6 in their last 10 games played, as they haven't been hot enough to make a run. Cincinnati is still in fourth place in the NL Central, as they have a 2.5 game lead over the last place Pittsburgh Pirates. At the plate the Reds are scoring 4.38 runs per game and they are hitting .241 as a team. This is the 17th most runs scored per game and the 17th lowest overall team batting average. They have struggled to consistently reach base safely, as they aren't giving themselves enough opportunities to drive in men when they are in scoring position. The Reds have also shown that they don't have a ton of home run power littered throughout their batting lineup. They are only hitting .97 bombs per game which is the 19th lowest average in the MLB, they have to string together multiple base hits if they want to light up the scoreboard. I also expect the Reds to stay conservative once they have reached base safely. They have only taken 48 bases this season, which is the 22nd least in the MLB. They can't risk losing any base runners, as they have been rare for the Reds this regular season. I will be taking the Phillies run line minus 1.5 in this one against the Reds. Cincinnati has not been a very good team this season and Ranger Suarez looked great against the Reds the last time he started. He pitched for 7.0 innings and didn't give up an earned run, as I see him repeating his performance in this one. He will pitch deep into the game and the Reds won't score enough runs to keep this game close. Cincinnati is scoring the 17th least amount of runs per game and they have the 17th lowest overall team batting average. They will continue to struggle at the plate in this one, as they have continued to have issue trying to consistently reach base all season. The Reds aren't going to give themselves enough chances to score. The Phillies on the other hand have a chance to explode at the plate. They got shut down by Lotolo in his last start. Our total pick is, over the total.